Hello and welcome back to Guillotine 18th Century Chemist Theater. Today we are going to continue our solutions unit and talk about the concept of dilution, which really isn't that difficult of a concept and, and the math behind it really isn't that difficult either. So this shouldn't be a super long lesson today. Of course our, our friends are back with a little bit of uh, dialogue. For you fans of the saying pockets, this is where the saying pockets came from. <laughs> and so really what dilution is is simply a way of uh, lowering the concentration of something by adding more of the solvent, and we're typically talking about water in this case. And the key to understanding dilution is that you're not changing the number of moles. All you're doing is you're putting those moles into a bigger volume of solvent. So if you think of like, uh, you know, like moles on a boat, <laughs> like so if you have a little rowboat with some moles on it, and then you dumped them out of a bucket into a bathtub, well, it's still going to be the same number of moles. It's just they're going to be spread out in a bigger volume. And so if we look at the example here of each of those little balls representing, you know, maybe a molecule or a mole, you know, as this stuff flows into the bigger container, you're going to have the same amount of solute in there. It's just going to be distributed among a bigger volume. And so we can figure that out mathematically. And so if you realize in both the same situations you have the same number of moles, uh, we're going to run into an old friend of ours here, and that's uh, molarity times volume. And we have talked about this before in here. Uh, again, M times V is, is a pretty important thing. It, it raises a big uh, red flag because when you multiply molarity and volume together, uh, you're going to end up with the units of moles. And so really what, what this equation is saying is that uh, in your initial and final conditions, you're really going to have the same number of moles. The only thing that's going to change is the volume that it's being dissolved in. And so the amount of solute doesn't change when you dilute something. Um, you're just going to go back and use this equation to calculate, well, what's the new volume need to be so that the moles at the beginning equals the moles at the end with the new volume. And so we can look at an example of this. Now, I guess you could also use this if you are evaporating off solvent and it's becoming more concentrated, but that's typically not the way it's done. But you could, I mean, if it's, it's the same idea. And so, uh, you know, pause the video, I guess, uh, and take a stab at this, see how, you, see how you do. And welcome back. So what do we got here? We got 1,000 milliliters of water, one liter of water is added to 300 milliliters of five molar. Uh, phosphoric acid. And again, instead of using the capital M, they, they do like to uh, start using moles per liter, which I use down there at the bottom. So determine the new molarity. Now, obviously, the molarity is going to go down because the amount of water is going up. And so th the only tricky part about this is just saying, well, wait a minute, I, I don't know the final volume or the final molarity. Well, you can find the final volume pretty easily. You're just going to take the initial volume and add the, the new final volume to it. Uh, so you're going you're gonna to take 300 mils and add 1,000 mils to it, and that's going to give us our final volume of 1,300 mils. Um, and then you can use your equation. So I've got MIVIMFVF. So I'm going to solve for molarity final uh, by dividing both sides by VF. And I'm just going to then plug my numbers in there. I have 5 moles per liter times the original volume of 300 milliliters. Remember, what's that telling you that's saying, hey, You've got, you know, how many how many moles of this stuff. And at five moles per liter uh, times milliliters. Now, notice that I'm leaving this in milliliters and not changing it to moles. I mean, to, not changing it to liters. And the reason why it's going to cancel out anyway. Uh, you, you can certainly have changed that volume to liters. Uh, but again, it's just going to cancel out. It's still going to be that 3 over 13 ratio, whether you drive it to liters and it's 0.3 over 1.3 or if you leave it in milliliters. And so that's one of those little shortcuts that you might want to keep an eye out for. Anyway, so the new molarity is 1.15 moles per liter, which makes sense. Uh, we expected it to go down, um, and it did based on the amount of water that got put in there. So that's your classic uh, dilution problem. Really not that big of a deal. Um, not all that glamorous or glorious, but uh, we, you'll use it all the time. I, I, I use that all the time in the laboratory to make new solutions. So don't uh, underestimate the value of that equation. So uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.